there are several reports available in PowerTeacher Pro. The ones most useful at the time of this recording include the individual student report, student roster report, and score sheet report. To access reports, click on the reports charm in the charms bar. To start, we are going to go to the score sheet report. The score sheet report is one of the most recently added and also one of the most useful. It includes a spreadsheet style summary of student grade and assignment data. You can use this report to view overall semester grades and assignments for all students. On the criteria tab, you can make changes to your report, such as entering a custom report title, selecting the classes you want to run the report for, choosing sorting options, and selecting what items you would like to include. For example, you may want to only run a report for a specific category, specific reporting terms, or between specific date ranges. On the Students tab, you can select specific students to include in the report. By default, all students in the classes selected will be included. Click the Add or Remove Students button to only run the report for specific students by checking and unchecking the boxes next to their name. On the Format tab, you can select the orientation of the page, the format the report will be saved in, PDF is the most common, and any notes you would like to include on the top or the bottom of the page. Click Run Report to save and run your report. Your report will download at the bottom. Click the report to open it. Another report available is the individual student report. To access it, once again, click on the reports charm and select individual student report. Like the score sheet report, you can change what is included and how the information is sorted. The default settings are useful in most instances, but you can make changes to customize your report if needed. Once again, on the Students tab, you can add and remove students who are included in the report. You also still have the option to adjust the formatting on the Formats tab. Lastly, the Student Roster Report can be useful for attendance, marking participation, and other functions. To access this report, go back to the Reports charm and select Student Roster. As with all the other reports, you can still modify all the criteria. You can also add columns to the report in the Display section by clicking on the Add Columns menu and selecting the fields you would want to add. If you want to add some additional blank columns, click the Add button next to blank. You can change the order of the columns with the arrows or delete a column that you no longer need by clicking the minus button. Once you are done, click Run Report to view and save your report. Before we finish the reports tutorial, I want to quickly mention that PowerTeacher Pro also has student progress charts, which is simply another way to view information. To access a student progress screen, click on the progress charm and select Traditional. This screen includes overall grade distributions and class overall missing, late, and incomplete assignments. In the main part of the Traditional Progress screen, you will see a distribution of grades for the selected section. On the right, you will see the class totals of missing, late, and incomplete assignments. Clicking on this chart will bring you to the Traditional Grades screen where you can see individual summaries regarding grades, absences, and tardies and missing, late and incomplete assignments. Now that you've learned how to run reports and view student progress, continue to the next video to learn about viewing student information.